have to climb up some stairs to get to the sea level because this place is not in the water. It's actually the underwater observatory in the city of Elat. What you saw here is the real Red Sea. And now I'm still climbing to get to sea level. Right. I still have to go a bit more to get to the entrance of the building. but this is the underwater observatory in the city of Elat. It's amazing how small Israel is and yet has so much to offer. Beautiful weather, sea and desert, religions, history, and most important, warm and welcoming people. I've been a photographer for many years and I'm a tour guide for a decade. Join me as I travel and film Israel as it really is. No filters, just you, me, and the camera. I'm Michelangelo and welcome to Israel Live. The observatory exists here because this place is also a big park with big aquarium. Fish, turtles, sharks, many other animals that you can see here in the aquarium section. That they will complete the um, experience of the observatory itself, which is behind my back right now. The newest park in the underwater observatory park is the Shark World. It's a place dedicated to an animal that we are so busy being afraid of that we don't even know that it's so, so in the risk of, of disappearing and very, very soon. So here is an, an option uh, for us to get to know these beautiful animals close without being afraid, uh, hopefully to make sure that uh, our sons and grandsons will be able to see sharks also. From this point on, I'm not saying a word.
Well, I did it, I did this uh, walk, of course, very very quickly. Usually we do it way way uh, slower with the group. Did you see this uh, trash can? Excuse me. Anyway, uh, this is one of uh, the most important place places uh, for us to know the shark.